Hi, my name's Margie Olds, and this is a presentation on the stiff shoulder and the frozen shoulder from the Auckland Shoulder Clinic. So firstly, if we start with the definition of frozen shoulder. A frozen shoulder is a condition which has a functional restriction of both active and passive shoulder motion for which x-rays of that joint are normal. So essentially this means that you can move your shoulder and someone else can move your shoulder to around the same amount of, of movement. So same degrees of range of motion we would call it. With regards to classification, you can have a primary frozen shoulder or a stiff shoulder and that really encompasses all those things for which we don't know what causes your shoulder. A secondary stiff shoulder really res, um, is a result of either an intrinsic, extrinsic or systemic cause. So intrinsic is something within the shoulder, so something like a cuff disorder or um, a fracture of your greater tuberosity. Um, extrinsic is something remote to the shoulder, so something like breast surgery that may then cause a mobilisation of your shoulder. Or systemic, something like diabetes or thyroid. And in this picture, we see the comorbidities that are associated with frozen shoulder. So you are more likely to have a frozen shoulder if you have things like a thyroid condition or um, diabetes um, and, and numerous other things that are related with having a frozen shoulder. We also talk about post-traumatic shoulder stiffness, and this then is stiffness that, that responds related to a specific trauma. It's commonly associated with being immobilized after that trauma um, and comes on like we would fit into that earlier classification of that secondary frozen shoulder or secondary shoulder stiffness associated with then with some specific trauma. When we talk about frozen shoulder, the disease seems to follow a natural progression. And on this axis, you can see time along the bottom and severity up the side. We have the three different phases, so freezing, frozen, and thawing. You see in that early phase, the pain is the thing that bothers people. So the pain is uh, comes on earlier, and then the pain settles, and the frozen phase comes on, and that's when we see more stiffness than pain. So initially more pain than stiffness, and then more stiffness than pain, and then the disease seems to follow a natural progression over two years without any treatment. And what we think causes that pain in the initial phase is the synovitis um, on the inside of the, of the capsule. So the pathology for a frozen shoulder is dependent on phase, but in that early phase one, you would see synovitis on the inside of the capsule and then developing of the scar tissue. So you see this is a photo of the inside of the capsule in somebody with a frozen shoulder. And you see this inflammatory vascular proliferation that is really in growth of new blood vessels. And, and we think it's that that causes the pain within, within a frozen shoulder, followed then by the scarring. So in these pictures, you see the inflammatory, um, sorry, the vascular proliferation on in slide B. And then in slide A, you see the development of that scar tissue that causes your restriction of movement. So having lots of scar tissue really means that your shoulder loses its volume and you don't have the same extensibility in the tissue and therefore you can't move your arm. With regards to treatment, there's overwhelming evidence in the early stages that having a steroid injection into the shoulder, into intra-articular um, steroid injection is will help with that um, vascular proliferation. You need to have an x-ray to exclude any other cause of having um, a, a stiff shoulder and this might include things like um, osteoarthritis or, or some other remote bony diseases. In the second phase, there's evidence that doing self-stretches, such as exercises like this, if you could manage it, um, will help your frozen shoulder. There's also some evidence that having a therapist mobilize your shoulder and with those passive stretches will help. If your shoulder has been immobilized for a long um, period of time, then perhaps strengthening of your shoulder may also be required.
This is the team at Auckland Shoulder Clinic, myself, Margie, Pradnya and Tom, and we'd be happy to talk to you more about your frozen shoulder or book in and make an appointment. Cheers.